I'll follow one so you can see. I've already set it up. Uh, it's the one with the bottle cap. That guy right there. Just gotta wait for them to be released. When enough of them fall down here, there's one. When enough fall down here, the bottle cap will be released. There it goes. And I was going up the first conveyor. Oops, forgot, gotta go around this. Okay. And it goes into the lifter machine. And then it gets... Oh shoot, I forgot about that. Not in create mode. I can die. There it is. It rolled down. It rolled down the glass onto this conveyor belt. Now it will get mixed up with the uh, little vertical angled mover things, whatever you want to call those. This part might take a while. down to here onto another conveyor which will take it into the sorter and the sorter basically gives them three options to go to based on what's full and what isn't full if it's too full it rolls over this top and now it will land back down here and it's at the main conveyor again so let's follow it again This only moves if uh, if they come into the bottom. Every time one comes in, it, it ships them all up one. So if there's nothing coming in, it's not going to move. There it goes. It gets launched. It goes down the glass onto this bottom conveyor, or top conveyor, whatever. And then it has to go through this again. There's still a lot more to the machine that you haven't seen yet. It's just, you know, you can never tell where they're going to go. So if it goes through the same part twice, well then, you know, you just got to watch it, I guess. Okay, back into the sorter. Now let's see where it goes this time. Hopefully it's not back onto the main conveyor again. Okay. It is going towards the part of the machine that I had uh, built originally. This is the very beginning, the first part of the machine that I built. It will go into the grabbers, and then it will be dropped into the wheel. And then it goes into the pump, I guess that's what you could call it. And every time it pumps it, it'll push it to one side or the other side up here at the top. You can see it'll switch, and then push it to this side, and then... Oops. You go back into the rotate, 
And that time the door opens, so it gets to come out and go into the lifter. And then it will go on to the stairs. Into the cannon, get launched onto this conveyor belt. And then it will go onto one more conveyor belt to be lifted. And where it's going to is actually interesting. If the machine is too full, it will go up and over the top. And if it's not too full, it will get kicked back into the machine. So when the time it passed the hammer, it was too full. So it goes onto this side of the machine. Into these sets of stairs. And then into the paddle wheel. And this paddle wheel is interesting how it works. Every time one goes in, it rotates a little bit. And every time one falls down, it will switch which door it goes into. See, it switched the doors. And cap is next. It goes onto this conveyor belt. Same situation. When it hits the bottom, it will, the belt will move one space. As you can see. the top, it will roll off and go into this conveyor belt, which is the same situation as the other ones. Every time one comes in, it will move at one space. And right now there's not a lot coming in. There's one. There's a few more coming. Okay. But it's only right here. After this conveyor belt, I will eventually get to the top and then roll down this glass. goes down the glass. And once it's done with the glass, it will roll off and go back onto this belt. And into the, uh, the lifters again to be sorted yet again and it just continuously cycles through and just go everywhere <laughs>